Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are in orbit of Mars, uh, again, still, maybe? Anyway, we are catching up with our other uh, liquid fuel slug, the one not yet docked with the station, and trying to rendezvous it with our ever-important life support slug that is also still in orbit of Mars and not yet connected to the station. So, um... There was a lot of me tinkering with nodes and missing one opportunity and realizing that these nodes that uh, KSP is, are giving me is not quite accurate. Uh, the numbers I'm getting do not represent what MechJeb is telling me, so initially I default back to MechJeb to uh, try to do some of this programming for me, but end up uh, just waiting a whole lot. A double check with Kerbal alarm clock there making sure that I'm not going to miss anything else important. But um, this was actually uh, probably several hours worth of recording that I've done, which I, I hope is worth it even in this uh, massively sped up state. But we uh, eventually get some nodes that are kind of worth something, at least I think so, and uh, start to aim ourselves towards an encounter. I know, lots of spinning lines and things just kind of vaguely happening, but we do, after a while, uh, make our correction burn and to get intercept and then tinker with it ever so slightly while spinning crazily along trying to reduce that uh, uh, closest encounter distance until we actually uh, can zero out our velocity and start making our way towards the life support slug. And there you can see it uh, just ahead of us. Uh, a little bit of time warping later. There's the little guy now. And we'll just uh, steer ourselves in, axis at a time. Uh, in retrospect, I really should have docked to the top of it and equaled out uh, where all the thrusters would be, but then I didn't quite know if I'd be able to dock with it. Uh, it with the station, but we'll have to extend those booms. They're a getting a little bit in the way and Then you'll have to yell at me about docking port alignment indicator that I have still never used but uh, Eventually after some struggles we get hard dock That's awesome now because it's a uh, docking double feature We're going to uh, Shut down all of these engines. We're not going to use them uh, they do have infinite ignitions, but uh, I'd just rather not deal with the exhaust. Maybe uh, screwing some things up. Got to try to be somewhat realistic here. But we'll just um, make sure all of these work their way through flight computer, and then we will set our target for the station and uh, wait for something close to happen. There's a, a little bit of a node, and I'll just uh, tinker with it for a while. Uh, again, never trusting MechJeb. But uh, I think I can actually do this one manually as long as the numbers stay on the screen. I had a lot of trouble with the numbers flickering in and out and just kind of being generally crazy, but I think I do have a path that will work pretty well. We're just going to go ahead and warp to the node, light the engines, finish it out on RCS, and please note that wobble. That wobble will be the death of me. There's absolutely no way whatsoever of keeping this thing traveling in one direction. <laughs> Even in a straight line, it seems to just kind of want to bounce around a lot. All right, there's our burn to uh, zero out our velocity relative to the station. And so now we'll just try to start making our way towards it. You can see it off there under my pointer. And and toggling time warp, it kind of moves around a bit, and there was a camera change that kind of scared me. But uh, now that we're actually close enough, we can start trying to move in towards the station. Yeah, <laughs> all of these thrusters firing, and never will this thing ever travel in just one direction at a time. So we'll try to warp past it. We're going to put this life support uh, node on the very top docking node, and we're going to put the fuel slug on the side. At least that's the plan to start out with, but uh, making this thing translate laterally is a huge problem uh, because that life support slug is just so incredibly heavy and it has no thrusters of its own. It, uh, it throws off our balance quite a lot and also because it's so heavy it's very hard to kind of muscle around. And of course, uh, because it takes so long for 
the target to get set through flight computer, a lot of this was me trying to dock without an actual target or with a target that was inaccurate. Uh, that target reticle, I think, is still for the station itself and not the docking port. And so I decide maybe we'll just uh, take a small break, recenter ourselves, hopefully, uh, doing it the best I can. But of course, yeah, way off. So we'll just back up one more time and try to get the station to uh, help us out. That turns out to go even worse. <laughs> so uh, just to check back, because uh, flight computer seems to be, I don't know, way behind on stuff. But I'm going to transfer some fuel here into the life support slug itself and let it do, let it have it its own supply. Maybe that'll balance us out a little bit. But uh, I decide that maybe the best course of action is to just back ourselves off, undock the two together, maybe that uh, maneuvering only one of them around will be a lot easier. Um, the fuel slug with the fuel tank in it, ooh, I guess that's lightning down there that we saw flashing in, in the clouds of Mars. It's very pretty. Uh, it did that to me several times. It kind of caught me off guard when I was recording. Anyway, the, uh, the fuel slug's a lot easier to maneuver. Uh, it's way more balanced and easier to translate laterally. And so, a lot easier to get lined up, at least initially. Uh, what I did not consider was that antenna poking out was uh, hitting one of the side fuel tanks and preventing us from getting lined up. Yeah, you can see it there kind of bouncing us around a bit. That uh, really threw me through a loop. So, uh, I decided we'll roll 45 degrees, and of course that throws all my axis off. So it's hard to control. I get stuck on the antenna for a little while, Back up, try again, back up, recenter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a barrel roll of frustration. This, uh, this was not my best day, I have to say. And again, I'm getting stuck on that antenna. I didn't think uh, I would be hitting it yet. So I just kind of took the paint scrapey approach to this. Yeah, that's that's close enough, right? We'll just slam it into the station. There, docked. Awesome. So that part's done. Now I guess we should uh, switch over here. This thing, this stupid thing, <laughs> became uh, nigh impossible to maneuver, um, both with the arms retracted and with the arms extended, because there's no thrusters on that... Uh, life support tank it is horribly unbalanced and impossible to translate laterally so even when you rotate it it tends to start drifting laterally which made things super frustrating and super difficult now I'll see you'll <laughs> the approach was not a lot of fun uh, this was probably the second best approach that I had as far as trying to get the, everything lined up but every time you see it's shaking a circle like that it's because I'm trying to uh, turn and compensate for the lateral drift which made things super awkward all the time and I thought uh, maybe maybe I'd just go ahead this would be easy even trying to brute force it on there it just did not want to go so back up now the station was spinning. Switch back to the station and we'll see if we can't just get it to set target and maybe let Mechjeb help us out by telling it to stay focused on the target. But uh, of course that did not work very well either. You can see it kind of wiggling around in a little slow circle trying to keep up with the target. That, uh, yeah, look at that. That made things so much fun. So much fun that I'm going to edit it all out. This took about three hours. No joke. I was that bad at this. So any arguments for docking a port uh, alignment indicator will now be very seriously considered. So you'll notice now it's uh, daytime because we're in a completely different place in the orbit. We're actually several, several orbits later. But finally, I think I've got it nice and lined up. But yeah, no. We're drifting and wiggling and drift wiggling. So, finally, it was good enough. Hard dock took. Hallelujah. 
our Mars station, which still doesn't have an official name. If you would like to suggest one, I'm very open to them. Just uh, leave them down in the comments. Uh, again, we'll, we'll go with votes, I suppose. So well, we're going to get rid of one of these little fuel slugs because we have an empty one that's docked that I haven't gotten rid of yet, but we have this other one that's just being held on by a coupler. So we're going to empty the one that we've just docked and then just decouple it and let it float off into the distance. So there it is. So far, so good. We've got another life support slug that has to make it here to the SOI, but other than that, this thing is coming along quite nicely. Just about ready for crew, I'd say. That's going to do it for this episode, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out. I do appreciate it, and I'll see all of you in the next one. So until then, see you later.